Okay, eighth, eighth graders. <laughs> That's a slip from the past. Fifth graders, fifth graders. Here's a little bit of homework help. So this is a sheet that I gave you guys to uh, to do tonight, and uh, several of you got a head start on it. Um, and I'll just pick uh, I'll pick two of these to do to help you guys out for those of you that are kind of forgetting how to do some of these problems here. Um, how about if, let's start with H here. Let me focus this for you guys so you can see a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, so H. Um, what have we got here? We've got uh, 7 going into 30.576. Well, 7 doesn't go into 3, but it does go into 30. How many times does it go into 30? Well, 4 times 7 is 28. I'm going to put down the 28. What do we do? We subtract. So 28 from 30 is 2 left over. And what do we do with this decimal? It goes straight up. Remember that. And keep these things lined up. That 4 goes over the 0 here because it's 7 into 30. It's not 7 into 3. So I put down the, uh, the 2 left over. Now what do I do? I bring down the 5. So now it's 25. So uh, I ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 25? Well, Again, if you know your times tables, you can uh, do these pretty quick here. That's going to be 21. It's because 7 times 3 is 21. I'm going to subtract 21 from 25. What's left over? 4. Okay. And now what do I do? Well, now I've got to bring down the 7. Next number I'm going to use, 47. Well, how many times does 7 go into 47? Well, I know 7 times 7 is 49. So, uh... 7 times 6, I'm going to put down the 6, is 42. And I'm going to subtract that. And so 42 from 47 is 5 left over. And last number I bring down all the way is the 6. And then I ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 56? Well, that goes in evenly 8 times. And that's 56 with nothing left over. So there's letter <clears throat> H done for you. Let's look at I. <clears throat> All right. So uh, 13 into 24, that's going to go once. It won't go twice because 13 twice is 26. That's going to be too big. So I'll put down 13. And I'm going to subtract that. And that's 11. What do I do with this decimal? Go straight up. Straight up from there. Okay. Now I bring down the 3. Now we have 113. Um, let's see, I think we did this one in class. Uh, so you can get some scratch paper here or do it on the back. Let's see, 13 times, we could do 13 times 8. I could do this right over here on the side. 13 times 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 2 more is 10. Yeah, it's 104. So that'll work. So 104. And I'm going to be subtracting that from 113. And that went in 8 times. Okay. Um, so what's left over? 104 from 113. That's 9 left over. What's the next digit I bring down? That's the 6. 96. Well, um... 8 times 13 is 104, so it's probably going to be 13 less than that. It's going to be 7 times. So I'm going to put down a 7, and I'll just do 13 here. I don't know what 13 times 7 is. Uh, that's 21. Carry the 2, 7, 8, 9. That's 91. So 91. We're subtracting that. What's left over? 5. Almost done. Now bring down the last digit which is the 2. How many times does 13 go into 52? Well, that goes in evenly four times with nothing left over. No remainder. Now, I don't think any of these have a remainder. So, uh, I think you guys should come out, if you just keep working your way through the digits, you'll come out evenly all the way. So, Okay, um, that's your little homework help for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll grade all, uh, how many problems are there? 
Um, 12? No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 problems. Probably make them worth two points each. Um, so at the top of the page, we'll put, uh, if there's 12 problems, there'll be 24 possible, two points each. Okay? Okay. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.